Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for the January of 2017 readings. I can't believe it's a new year already. Happy New Year. Um, before we get into the readings, I want to tell you about a couple of things. These calendars are still available. They're really cool for 2017. They have Mercury Retrograde and all sorts of things. My books and decks, as always. Um, if you're watching this in December, I am still open for private readings until the year ahead readings are going to be over in a couple weeks as we move into January. So if you want to order, you can go ahead and order that. Um, thirdly, I am on Vimeo now with the Lots of Love readings. They're back and they're on Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo On Demand. It's a tarot reading and then I also pull some lots of love which are my casting lots that I've devised and I have several different kinds of uh, casting lots. The lots of love uh, because the reading is focused specifically on love. Now it's a tarot reading too and um, you can focus on any card that that can be applied to love but on these general readings I'm just doing general whatever comes up but on the lots of love it is specifically for love. It's from two perspectives, a male and a female but it People have been telling me that sometimes they resonate more with the male and more with the female, but whatever. Go ahead and check it out. Um, again, with the calendars, books, decks, I want to thank you guys for all your support in 2016, and I look forward for doing the readings in 2017. Now, before we get it on, if you have seen the readings before, I'm going to go into a brief explanation of how the readings work. If you've seen them already, you know how it works. You can skip ahead. Have a great month of January. I look forward to reading for you. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to the reading. Hi Scorpio, thanks for joining me for the January 2017 Tarot Scope with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck of my creation and then uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle card, also my creation. Oops, so a few that want to come here. Okay, what is going on for Scorpio in January? I can't believe this year has gone by already, huh? Scorpio, January. Scorpio, Scorpio, January, okay, uh, here's your cards, uh, by the way, if you are interested, I don't know if you watched the intro or not, if you're interested in love reading, I have love readings, lots of love, tarot and casting lot readings available on Vimeo for a small fee and you can find that link below or by visiting my site. And I'm still doing the year aheads, and I have the calendars still available until the end of this year, the end of this month, if you're watching this in December. But let's get on to your January reading. Well, the central card here is the wish card. Your wish is coming true. So if you had, a, I always say when the wish card comes up in these readings, if you had some kind of a question, uh, a specific thing that you were wanting to know, yes or no, when the wish card pops up, it usually is, is a yes. It means it's a yes. The wish card means is a good card. It's one of the best cards in the deck. I mean, you have some cards surrounding, like there's some disappointment, but it's saying, you know, your wish is going to come true. So we start out with the very first card here is the, uh, uh, not the emperor, the magician. And the magician is, um, he's raring to go. He's ready to make it happen. He's in power. It's all about empowerment and being the master of your own destiny and striking out in the world and making it happen. Um, you do have, you know, there's a couple of cards here about some upset and some, you know, this is a card of being upset, um, stressed, crying. This is a card about having a heavy burden. I feel like this is your breaking out of this, though. That's what I feel like this is. Like, this is what's been happening up till now, you know. Because also, the cards go from ace through ten, like a regular deck of playing cards, right? Nine and ten are the highest cards. And then you get into the court cards, which are the same as the queens and, you know, in the regular deck of cards, playing cards. 
um, what was I going to say? So you got 9 and 10, this is the most. This is the ending, and then we go over to the, the 1, the ace, you have an ace here. And then the magician is also number one. So it's like you're turning over a new leaf. You're turning a corner. You've, this, this is culminated. Nine is also. You've got two nines and a ten here. So this is the higher numbers. These are things that's been going on, going on. Your wish comes true, and boom, everything changes. There's definitely some new beginnings happening in this month for you with the magician and the ace of rods. Both of these cards are cards of action, though. They're not passive cards. They're not, okay, well, the reading said a new beginning's coming, so I'll just sit around and wait for it. No, that's not how it works. Magician especially is like, you've got to take action. You've got to make it happen by sheer will and determination and drive. And Scorpios, you guys know all about that. The Ace of Rods is planting the seeds that are going to bloom and grow. So you've got to plant those seeds. You know, It's not just going to fall out of the sky. Um... You know, you've been through something here. You've really been through something. You've been carrying this heavy load. It is up, you've been upset. Uh, but the Seven of Swords um, is over here, and it's saying something's coming back to you that's been taken away. So it's it's like your empowerment is coming back to you, or your self-esteem or self-worth is very often um, the case with the Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Magician is very, he's full of confidence. He's sure about what he's doing. He's, you know, he's empowered. He's confident. So that's coming back to you, and it's just like, this will not stand. That's what I'm hearing. This will not stand. This kind of stuff is not going to stand anymore. And I just feel like I wish I could just make them all shatter and just go away, you know, because that's what it feels like. This is just breaking through like shattering glass or ice, you know, and these are just crumbling all over the place. Another part of it is that there's been something that's you've been disrespected. Or, you know, what this could be, because sometimes this is more about work and stuff, this could be you got, you got passed over for a raise or promotion, or maybe a year-end bonus. Maybe you were counting on some year-end bonus and you didn't get it. And it's just like, you know what, I'm going to start, first thing in the year, I'm going to go out and start uh, putting my resume in line and looking for something else, you know. I feel like you're looking for something else no matter what. Like, you've just had it. This is enough, enough's enough with this crap, you know. Um, waiting for somebody else to appreciate you is, it's fruitless, you know. It's what's that gotten you, you know? You gotta go out there and make it happen for yourself, you know. Some of you might start your own business. You know, you quit your day job and say, you know what, I am just gonna start my own business. Or I'm gonna start my own my own branch, I'm hearing. So somebody's gonna start their own branch, or maybe you're just gonna branch out. But I think for a lot of you it's about um, you know, you you're been treated badly and you're tired of it. And I feel like they pile a lot on you. You know, they're just like, Well here, give it to her, give it to the Scorpio, you know. Just keep piling it on, piling it on, and you just keep, okay, okay, and then it's just like, you know what, screw this, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. So I think you kind of reached a breaking point, even. That's what this card can be. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back sometimes, you know. And it's like, okay, I'm going to take control of my life, I'm going to go out there and do what I'm going to do, and you are. This is more powerful. The Magician's a major account. It's more powerful than any of these cards. So you have the power of the magician. You can make magic happen. You can create your own reality. The wish card is a card of plentifulness, of having plenty. Um, you also have the soulmate card down here. So, I mean, it could be love. I mean, some of you, maybe your your partner disappointed you. And you're like, you know what, I'm just going to go out and meet somebody new. But that could be. If you want to know about love specifically, you should head on over to Vimeo and check out my love readings. But, um... This can also be, because soulmates come in all shapes and sizes, and a soulmate can show up and just kind of give us a leg up, just kind of give us a helping hand. And it doesn't mean it's going to be your lover. Sometimes soulmates come and go like, bam, you don't even know they're a soulmate, but they just came in to do you this little favor, and do you a solid, you know, do you this one solid, and then they're out of your life again. So I feel like the, this new opportunity is going to involve a soulmate, could be love, but it feels like more like they're just the one that's going to hire you, or give you the loan, or give you the whatever you need to make this happen, you know. Uh, or in the new situation, you'll encounter soulmates. You could, if like if you're working a regular kind of a day job thing, you could go move to another office, and you have friends there and soulmates that don't treat you like this. Whoever this new these soulmates are, don't treat you like this, okay? Not in the upright position, they don't. This is being disrespected. This is being overlooked. And it's not about you, oh, uh, making a mountain out of a molehill. This is legit. This is something you legitimately earned and had coming, 
and in reverse, either you didn't get it, or it was much less than you thought it was going to be. Like a, like a year in bonus, maybe it's like 60% of what you thought it was going to be, okay? Or maybe something about 09, too. Maybe something happened in 09 for some of you guys that, that year. Because this is 09, and that's 9 of cups, too. What, whatever, that could be for some people. And you, you've been regretful about it. So it's time to stop regretting it and, and crying about it and say, okay, well... It's, I said this in one of the other readings, but I, it might have been your reading. I think it was another one, but it's that the pain pushes you until your vision pulls you. So you've been being pushed. When things aren't working out and you're running up against a brick wall, you don't sit there and just keep pounding your head in it. It's like, okay, take a turn. Oh, turn. Not, uh, 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 uh. You know, it's like, oh, if you're going with the flow and you meet with resistance or you meet with opposition, you just... Take a little curve, you know, curve it the other way. But there's the wish card is here, the soulmate card is here, and the magician is here. So this is, you have the power. You got the power. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> SOB stands out. This happened another time. So somebody, you're calling them a, a SOB, that rotten SOB. Don't give away your power to somebody else to, to, to determine how you're going to feel or how things are going to go for you. You need to be the one who takes control of the situation. And the opportunity will show up. Build it and they will come. You know, uh, Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. To do another, uh, another old saying. Wish card is here, though. I mean, wish card is like the best card in the deck. So your wish is coming true. you got to make it happen. It's up to you to take the action. And soulmates will join in. You know, the, Someone will come. They'll come to your aid. Okay, Squirt, what's going to be your Animal Totem card for this month, for uh, January? All right. The Ladybug. See, it's lucky. Wish card and Ladybug are kind of similar. So make a wish. Wish card's here, Ladybug's here. Make a wish. Lucky Lady of the Garden, Harbinger of Happiness and Joy, rid my life of obstacles that are destructive to my divine right to flourish. Well, couldn't get much better than that. These are the obstacles that are destructive to your divine right to flourish. Okay, um, you have a divine right to flourish. You need to remember that, and don't let it, don't let other people's behaviors and actions get you down. Again, when things are pushing on you, it's not to like crush you and make you know you run up against a rock. What does the river do? The river flows around the rock. You know, when you're going with the flow, you don't. You don't keep going and beating up against a rock in your path. And so a lot of you have had a rock in your path. You know, it's not surprising. You had Saturn in your sign for a couple years. You probably, sometimes when that happens, you get locked into these situations. You feel oppressed. You feel oppression. And uh, now Saturn has moved on. It's in Sagittarius now. But that's your second house if you're a Scorp rising. So it's time to lay foundations with money and career. Don't let anybody put you down or push you around. You know, don't, instead of feeling... This is not usually the Scorpio way. Usually Scorpios aren't going to lay down and take anything, you know. Sometimes you have to enlist that uh, Scorpion energy and just say, you know what? Well, this isn't about stinging back. This is about that taking flight. You know, going, taking the high road. Where is he pointing? Up to the sky, you know. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. There could be a lot of great things happening here. If, if you're in a situation where you're feeling this uh, burdensome and not respected, it's the universe is telling you, time to go. With Wish Card and Ladybug, you're going to have a lot of luck. Or maybe what seems like luck, but really is just divine intervention. You know, The universe is waiting to come to your aid. Mighty forces are waiting to come to your aid. You've got to take the action. You've got to plant the seeds, and then the wish comes true. Okay, Scorps? Okay, everybody. Hey, thank you for everything you've done to support me thus far in the past years. And I hope I can continue your support in 2017. Again, the year ahead readings are available till the end of December if you're watching this. And the calendars are still available along with the books and the decks and all that stuff. You can find it on the site if you want to know more about Just Love. And check out those uh, Vimeo and Demand readings that are just about your love life. You can find that up below or up in the sky or below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, liking, and sharing, commenting, and especially donating, because that's what keeps these readings are free. Okay, these are free, and that comes through all your support and your donations. Hey, uh, Scorpio, 
thank you again for everything you do. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of January and a happy new year.